salute, salute, salute to God, the most high creator of everything. You, y'all, we rolling back up on Sister J Stars, you know, to finish this conversation part two. So, uh, I'm going to skip the intro on this just to save some time, some footage. You know, let's get Miss J Star back on the phone. Hello, I would not say, don't I like you don't know, we calling, sister. We roll up on you in this ministry. We roll up on you. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. All right, I got to keep it within 10, 15 minutes, you know, just okay. for the sake of, you know, uploading a smaller file. So let's get it, sister. You was, uh, we left off where you were speaking on Adam and Eve and, like, a majority of how these women became the way they were or are, something of that nature. Yes, yes. This this won't take 15 minutes either. This is so powerful. I wrote this down when Holy Spirit gave it to me because, see, my uh, heart has been just passionate about uh, all the young ladies that's been taken out at a very young age. And I'm talking about successful and beautiful and, you know, given to the community and their loved one come and take them out, you know. So, and then, see, they have too many video crimes with that, you know. And I began, there was so many coming across, you know. And I say, you know, Father, it's like a spirit has been released in the earth, you know, against our young women, you know. So that's when he gave me the assignment to begin to 2024, to intercede on that behalf, you know, of our young women, our especially, but our women, period. Cause see, we can't leave nobody out now. Now, you know, but this is what he gave me, bro. Genesis three fifteen. He said, when the Lord said, I will bring enmity between you and the woman in Genesis three fifteen. You know, this implies two things. The woman is not going over to the dark side. And so even though she transgressed and even though she disobeyed God, you know, but that covenant that was with God in the beginning, <laughs> not her, her to the dark side. You see, you know, it says she won't be with the serpent, but against him. You see? That, that's the real spiritual thing, okay? And then he wanted me to look at enmity and talk about enmity. That's a supernatural hatred, you see? That's a hatred that this world do not understand. The hatred that's between the woman and Satan, you see? You know, so that curse, what it did, it brought that curse world the seed of both were going to be striking at one another. You see? Okay, now, and I'm, I'm taking it out now. Now, okay. I, just, I, I, need, I want to stop you for a minute. Now, see, okay. I, I adhere to your sister in the last video. You was like, put your phone on, do not disturb. You know I did that, and I didn't turn my volume down. Did you just hear this other phone ring? I did not. It, it wrong, and I put both of them on do not disturb before I even contacted you, my sister. <laughs> <clears throat> but we know but, that probably but, is. <laughs> no, nah, it, it was my baby calling. It was my baby calling. But I just texted her and let her know. It was my sweetheart. So, she's supposed to get through. We talked about the woman, so she's supposed to get through. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Go ahead, sister. Okay. And this, this, so I'm going out. You know how I say I'm going out. Okay. This was, God gave me the other part. He said, God promised that the woman would bruise or crush the head of the serpent. You see, we're going to do that. What? What is that? The serpent is his offspring or his people. You see, also, not just him, but also his people. Okay? The, but listen to this. He said, the heel of the woman. She was 
strike a mortal blow, you see, while the other or the serpent will only wound. Do you see that? Do okay. you see that? I um I'm I'm in the King James version and mine says and I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed he shall yes. bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. Yes, yes, but I just told you what it means. I broke it down to you what it means. See the serpent offspring, that's his people, will cruise or uh, bruise the heel of the woman. You see? He gonna, cause he gonna be striking, you see? And they say one would strike a mortal blow though. See, we both gonna be striking. See, the woman, she gonna bruise or crush his head. See, that's why with a snake, you have to cut the head off, right? Right? Even in the natural, you have to even control a snake by the head. Even the, the animal trainer, he has to grab the head of the snake, see? It's all spiritual. You see? You see that? You're right. Okay. But in my world where I come from, all snakes don't slither. Some of them actually walk up right like you and I, my sister. Come on. Them, those are the people, though. Those are the people. At that point, it's just symbolism at that point. And then, you know, they have, you know, we can get even deeper and say they have that snake spirit inside of them. You see? Because they have different types of spirits that inhabit people. They have the python spirit. That's a spirit. That's a, a snake. You see, that quench, that choke out everything, every good thing in the body of Christ. That's what that snake does. You know, it's the characteristic of the snake. You see, you know, so the python, that's one major one that's in the church. You know, it chokes out everything about God and then it lets in a religious spirit, see, and that that's just people going through the motion, but, you know, there's no power, and God is not allowed there, you see? Mm-hmm. I agree. You know, so, bro, that, that, that's the, uh, what I've been, um, really just meditating on, and that's why Holy Spirit told me to go ahead and pick up with uh, go back. He said, I, I want you to deal with creation. Everything I did, do it, deal with creation. You know, we started off with, you know, we started off with what nobody, what we, nobody want to deal with. There's a place in this afterlife if we don't get it together. You see, we started off with that. You know, we talked about that. You know, that H-E-double-L, it was not created for God's people. It was not it was created for Satan and his angels because God had to have something to do with them at the end, you know. So, but remember I told you the Bible is one big story, one big story, the beginning, the middle, and we're on the way to the end. You see, actually in the end, but, you know, we still got a ways to go. Life got to still happen, you know. But a, a lot has already happened, and that's why it's, if we follow the word, We'll see right where we are in time, real time, you know. So that's why God been had me meditate on those three things, the end of the world, and then he took us back, you know, with the <clears throat> flood, the first flood, and then he <clears throat> took us back, you know, to creation, you know. So if we understand all that, then we won't be deceived anymore, you see, brother. And I agree. I believe a lot of our deceit, a lot of the dishonor that we're seeing nowadays, a lot of the uh, misstructure comes from people reinventing the word and people taking away from God's word what benefits them and what they could benefit from and leaving everything out. That is a form of misguidance and misinterpretation of a biblical doctrine. Um, God's rule of, of thumb, number one and foremost, is love. And we've taken our sights off of that four-letter word. For it to be such a small word, it has a colossal meaning, a very gigantic definition, okay? And it's one of God's requirements for us to even basically grace the, the gates of heaven, 
So where I stand at in today's time is I'm learning to separate myself from the world, like kind of be in the world, but not of the world. And I'm learning to give God that time, give God that thanks, stay in my own little dimension that he set aside for me because that's that's where my spiritual growth takes place. That's my solace. And I just allow God to deal with me. You know, I turn my camera on. I speak when I'm spoken to. And he's surrounded me with great people. You know, my mom, big bro, Arnell, you, my baby Jojo, you know, I have even my job, the people that comes in and out of my job, we minister to each other. Some of them follow me, you know, so <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I'm, I'm, I'm for anything that's going to create positivity in this world because we all go through negative stuff every day. And the Bible says that nothing new is under the sun. Every day brings its own problems. A bird sings a new song every day. You understand what I'm saying to your sister? Yes. So we've got, we've got to get up, find that joy every day, carry that cross, and sing our song that's instructed by the Savior. Yes, the cares of the world. We'll never get rid of those. You know, like you say, we're in the world, but we're not of the world. And then it say, in the world, you will have trials and tribulations, but they only come, you know, like even old people say, you know, come to make you strong, you know, what don't kill you or make you stronger or, or mm -hmm. whatever, you know. But, you know, it's true, though. It, it is. It's true. You know, and I say this, too, brother. You know, I've been reading the Bible, like I said, since I was very young. But it became a time where the Holy Spirit had to begin to teach me to understand what I was reading so I could apply it to my life and then once I once I apply it to my life now I gotta do that first then I can help somebody else you see you know I couldn't put the cart before the horse go out trying to tell everybody else what to do but I haven't done it yet you know I've got uh, I got about three minutes left just to give it to me give me that flame you got me excited over here give me that flame give it to me <laughs> 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 let it loose, let it loose. Speak in the name of the Lord. Speak, sister. Okay, okay, but bro, you know, like I said, you know, that's what, uh, okay, the real, I, I want to give you the real, but I'm just give you a highlight. Thank you, Lord, on the real. Okay, now, you know, because in creation, you know, God went back over and he talked about, I did upload it today. He talked about the real, you know, how he uh, opened the side of the man, took the rib out, you know, but uh, Holy Spirit showed it to me, you know, about how the actual rib, you know, what it does. He said, don't look at it like a natural, like a, a, a real surgery. He said, don't look at it like that. Look at it symbolic. He said, you know, the rib, it protects the heart. You know, the rib protects the lungs, the liver, the pancreas. It protects all that, you see? So if God said that woman is your real by your side, see, that real supposed to be by your side. He said, took it out the side. So that means that your woman supposed to be by your side, not in front of you, not behind you, but by your side. And see, that woman that's sent to be by your side, she'll help protect your heart. You see, she'll help protect your, your liver and your, your kidneys. If you're doing something that's not right, she'll say, baby, baby, guess what? You know, I know, you know, you know, I know you can do that and you like it and everything, but, you know, I think you ought to, you know, pull back a little bit because she, she's trying to protect your liver. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm trying to show you the protection of the woman over your ribs. Right. Come on, she, she, a, 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 a woman is a natural nourisher. She's a natural nurturer. You know, that that's something that I'm not going to say every woman comes with it. Um, but the real women do. And that's the sign of a great woman right there. That is the sign of a great woman. The one he sent. <clears throat> see, the one he sent will have those qualities. The one he sent, that's why he say, he who finds. You see, you know, when the time comes, and when you've been praying and she's been praying, that time is going to come and your path is going to cross. And then when it does, you're gonna, it's going to be like magic. You're going to know. You see, you won't have to wonder or guess. You won't, you know why? Because both of your lights are gonna just come on. You see? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. With that, brother, I turn it over to you. All right. 
Hey, this has been another powerful segment. I told y'all I love to hear this sister speak. In case y'all was wondering what I was whispering because I didn't want to over talk her, I was trying to say I love to hear her speak. It, it, <laughs> listen, man, there's something when she say, come on, somebody. It, man, I get chills, man. Y'all got to understand what I'm dealing with here, man. Like, I love this sister. This sister used to leave comments under my videos and I could tell she was powerful. I could tell she knew more than she was letting on, but she was trying to come on very subtle, very humble. And I wrote her back one day. I was like, sister, I say, you holding back. You speak in power. Then on this platform, you let it go. Let loose. Loosen the tongue. Speak it. Because I can tell you know something. And ever since that day, me and this sister right here has been inseparable. And it's going to remain that way. I thank everybody, you know, for tuning in. And um, sister, if you can, put your platform out there one more time. J-Star. J-Star started out with a black table, too, y'all. I have a black table. Right now, we got so much um, intent, you know, intensified that's going on with the emotion. So we're going to put love on the back burner for a minute and heal our hearts, souls, and mind, and then we'll pick back up with the love. But J-Star's. J S T A R Z C is spiritual insight. That's what my channel is all about. Oh, uh, Shay, sister, I love it. And I'm going to continue to help you build. I'm going to continue to be a part of your platform, your ministry. I'm going to continue to support you. We're going to continue to grow in, in faith. We're going to continue to grow in love and, and just the ministry of God's word. We're going to do this as called according to his purposes. And, you know, with that being said, <clears throat> everyone thank you for listening hit that like button hit that subscribe button go to j stars page do the same thing y'all wipe your feet all over her welcome mat by hitting that like button subscribe button notification bell youtube is trying to quiet the positivity quiet the ministry and quiet the move of god we won't allow it we won't allow it y'all stay prayed up stay blessed up well let me back it up before my mother earth get mad at me get your one-on-one -on -one. Get your one-on-one. -on -one. Get your one-on-one -on -one with your higher power. See that Mother Earth? I had to back it up for you. We're going to back it up like juvenile. Okay, stay prayed up. Stay blessed up. Stay meditated up. Stay protected. Stay real. Stay woke. Stay uncut. Be inspired. Be great. Be you. And when I say be inspired, y'all, I mean go to Sister J Star's page and be inspired. With that being said, Sister, thank you so much. Oh, Shay, she got me smiling. I love when the spirit okay, moves. Okay, love you, brother. All right, sister, love Uncut. you too. Mrs. Uncut, Mama, everybody. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You know you family. We family around here. We're going to continue to roll up on the saints, all right? Okay, okay. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Peace. Yeah, I say, sister. <laughs>